live from the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube covering Splunk.com 2015. Brought to you by Splunk. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Rick. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are live in Las Vegas at the MGM for Splunk's Dot Conference 2015. This is theCUBE, our fourth year of coverage. This is SiliconANGLE's flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm showing my co-host Jeff Frick, GM of theCUBE. Our next guest is Jeff Chansey, Managing Director of Censure Technology. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thank you, happy to be here. So you're the guy who has to make it all happen. When the, when the, when the C-levels <laughs> say, hey, we got to get the big data, we got to get the security figured out, we got to have cloud security, you guys get called and you kind of do, do kind of put it all together. I kind guess of, you, yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, it, I'm oversimplifying it, but I mean, but at the end of the day, this disruption, opportunity. Absolutely. What, what are the top line conversations you're involved with right now? Is it cloud, security, and what are some of those conversations, conversations like? Well, the, the particular area that I work in is within our Accenture technology application services business. So really our systems integration, our application outsourcing, application development and maintenance. And one of the things that I've been spending the last year or so doing is looking at how can we do application services different in the marketplace. So, you know, I don't know that I would phrase it as a, an area of disruption per the, per the question you just asked me, but I think it's an area that's ripe for some sort of disruption because if you follow the trends in the marketplace, application services has, has you know, kind of devalued in the marketplace over time and I think the market's really, really ripe for something new and different. Hence why I'm here uh, at the Splug Don Conf today. So what are some of the tooling involved? There's some innovation going on, maybe not disruption, because people don't want the disruption, but operationally there's some things in place. It's not like it's a green field. There's some you know, value chains that are being reconfigured possibly, but big data's changing a lot of the IT ops. Absolutely. Where I are mean, you seeing that ac action happening? You know, source Accenture, we're a $30 billion company and we're in all the industry verticals around the world. We're in all the, you know, the major, major industry groups and we have a lot of clients around the world and we're really sitting on a lot of our clients and our clients are sitting on a lot of information, a lot of data, especially a lot of operational data. So if you look at it, where Splunk kind of fits in, sitting on machine data, structured data, unstructured data, and the vast majority of our clients, our Accenture clients, the vast majority yeah. of customers around the world, just actually have no idea what they're sitting on, how to make sense of it, or how to get any value out of it. And so one of the things I say in the marketplace that I'd like Accenture to do, you know, powered by Splunk, if you will, is basically bring the back, bring the back to the front. So I call it bringing the back to the front so traditionally operational information and operational data is viewed as, oh, those are for the support people. Yeah, you know, back office. Oh, right. you know, the file system is full. There's log files to do triage. But actually there's a lot of very, very valuable business data sitting in all that information. Yeah. yeah. And if you can just mine that data and bring that back to the front, you can really bring a lot of value yeah. out of it. And DevOps trend in cloud has brought the developers closer to the action, the front lines. And, and, and I want to ask on that point, because that's a great, great point. I want to drill down on that. So um, analytics is a big killer app, getting the insights out of the data, but now you're traversing development, operations, and lines of business, right? It's kind of all kind of coming together. So how does a company operate, become silo agnostic? Because analytics has to be silo agnostic, but yet all the silos are all, you know, I mean, data driven is a great bumper sticker. Hey, let's be data driven, but right. you got to bust down the silos. You're, so, one, do you agree with that? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So, you have what are you seeing out there for this? What's, how do you people become silo agnostic for analytics, and how do you intersect development, ops, and line of business? I mean, it's a very good question that you're asking, and it's one of the things that I'm I'm helping to spearhead within Accenture, within Accenture Technology, is how do you bring agile, agile methodologies, sprint type development. DevOps, so bringing the back to the front, bring the analytics, and bring that all together. So in a lot of application delivery that happens today, not in all cases, but in a lot of cases, the operability, the analytics, the intelligent applications, developing those in that manner, sometimes can be an afterthought. 
So what we want to do is we want to make that a forethought. We want to deliver instrumented, operable, intelligent, smart applications through DevOps and agile methodologies up front. Instead of trying to bring it on, you know, bring it after the fact, which is what happens in a lot of today's but environments. You made an interesting comment. You said that you thought that the, the app services devalued these days, was, did I hear that accurately? Because it seems like apps are now running everything. They kind of apps and app development and agile development are kind of front and center and now everything is, is kind of catching up to support that agile app development. Yeah, that, the point I made is around, you know, a bit of the commoditization about, of application operations. Okay. So more of your production support. Okay. Not necessarily your high value premium functionality development. And so in your production support, your application operations, there's been a bit of devaluation, commoditization that's gone on over time. Now, that's going to continue to happen regardless, but there are new generation applications, new generation platforms such as Splunk that can help change the game and change the value perception of what you can get out of your operational and your machine data. Yeah, I, I saw a great example as a movie, the, the, the human face of big data that's sponsored by EMC and SAP, great, uh, show, but they were talking about preemies in neonatal care, and they have all these monitors on them, their heart rate, their temperature, et cetera, et cetera, but the nurses would only come in and monitor it once an hour. And so that this exhaust off these systems that were already in place was just going basically onto the floor, and then they find out that there's little anomalies in heartbeats when infections first start to come, that if they'd been monitoring the thing the whole time, to your point, the operational data had some really important, valuable information that nobody was paying any attention to. Yeah. It's amazing. That's right. And it, you know, it's costing lives. And I think what you're getting on to is, a, is another very related and relevant topic around predictive analytics and machine learning. Again, this is, a, this is a place where Splunk as a platform plays. So if you can recognize, even in a, in a medical environment with preemies, for example, if you can recognize the key trends, the key correlations, the key patterns, in the monitoring and operational data that tell you, you know, 90% of the time when you see this pattern, you know, you're going to end up having a serious event happen in an hour or in half an hour. If you can grab that information, codify that information, and apply machine learning, then you might actually be able to predict and prevent the instance before it happens. Right, right. Rather than just waiting for the, what do they call them, code blues right. yeah. to happen. So is, is there, are there early wins that you've seen with your customers where you can demonstrate the value, the, the, un, the undeveloped, unexplored value in this operational data that heretofore they just ignored? Absolutely. So right now, um, the initiative that I'm driving, we're in, we're in 30 of our top application services customers as we speak. So we're leveraging Splunk as a platform to help power how we bring better value for money and a differentiated, more valuable service to our customers. Because as you know, Accenture is a professional services company. Clients are our business. And so we're already able to demonstrate with some of these technologies, bringing them to the, you say, the back office. Again, bringing them back to the front. Right. Showing them what I call the art of the possible. With data and information, and insights into that information that they didn't even know existed. Yeah. You know, so for example, being able to detect real time with a platform like Splunk, what customers that are on online applications are doing in real time. And then understanding the behaviors of those customers, correlating those and developing those patterns through machine learning as well. And then saying, I think it's probably 90% chance if I do a preemptive marketing, whether it's a pop-up on their mobile phone or an outbound call from a call center representative to do an upsell marketing call, maybe I know that 90% of the time when I target these customers that are exhibiting these behaviors real time, I'm going to actually um, seize the upsell. Yeah. Jeff, we already prevent, we've already shown that in the market. Jeff, thanks for sharing the insight on theCUBE, really appreciate it, but I want to get one final question for you to share and the end of the segment is, share with the folks that are watching, what's the color of the show? What's the vibe? What's going on here? Because a lot of sessions are packed. Um, not a lot of people are tweeting because there's so much learning going on. There's good biz dev, there's partners here. What's the vibe of the show? What's, share some insight into what's going on on the ground here. Yeah, what I can say, when the kickoff session happened yesterday morning, it was absolutely electrifying. Um, that's the way I would put it. 
very exciting. You know, kind of get the goosebumps, get the sense of the energy in the air. You know, I have not been to one of these before, but hopefully I get to come to a bunch of them thereafter. I mean, Splunk is just really an, a high energy, you know, forward thinking company. And they, you know, they have really put on a great show here. It's very exciting, very electric is how I would classify it. The culture it. is phenomenal. We've been here four years covering the event. I like the culture, because they act like a startup, but they're one of the big boys now. They're up there, public company, they got growth pains, they got to grow faster, Wall Street's trading their stock. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is, this is like yeah. the big leagues for them. It, it's the big it, leagues, but again, like you said, they're acting like a startup, which is very exciting, and hopefully it stays that way. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's all, all the top, the top executives drive that, so it all comes from the top. We're here live at Splunk.com, this is theCUBE. We'll be right back with more after this short break. <laughs>